We are at the College Ethics Symposium. It's in its 45th year with Roland King. He is a chairman. And uh, the mission, the purpose of this um, program. It's really to uh, prepare young people for the kinds of situational decisions they are going to have to render as they leave the campus and go into the workforce. We believe ethics, which originally started out 45 years ago as being uh, a, a, a subject that was dealt with from a business standpoint. Uh, today we understand that ethical thinking is required irrespective of the field of endeavor. It could be government, it could be religion, it could be sports, it could be entrepreneurship. So we've opened it up to not just business majors, but to frankly any senior from one of the invited colleges who might benefit from this kind of case study format. Right, and so the format is case study. It so they case. actually are presented a case study and then they discuss it and Correct. the moral and the ethical decisions to be made. Correct, there are small groups uh, with students from various colleges, some private, some uh, public, some secular, some faith-based. Uh, so those students come together in a small group, uh, ideally to think through what would I do in that particular situation. So uh, I always say, think about it in terms of what would Jesus do? And the faculty from all over as well, mostly actually the Carolinas, but? Most of the schools come ideally from the Carolinas, North and South Carolina, but uh, this year, as I mentioned earlier, we have a school from Florida, one from Ohio, one from Missouri. So they're not relegated to just the Carolinas. Very good work you're okay. doing. Thank you, Roland King. Thank you. Emily French is with us now. She is from Presbyterian College in Clinton, South Carolina. And we were just observing the, the case study and your discussion. It's very interesting. Are you yeah. finding it um, yeah. informative? It's been really informative so far. Um, it's really nice to hear from other kids from different schools um, and just kind of learn about new things that we don't usually talk about every day in university. What are you hoping the outcome will be for you when you go back to school? Um, I think taking, you know, everything we're talking about back to PC is really important. Also, just in my everyday life. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Winston Hill is also from Presbyterian College. He actually is 6'8", so I'm going to take the microphone. Winston, what are you learning? Um, just everything about ethics. Um, it's, it's just a well-rounded um, we're around an event. We're learning about different cases and going over different cases and just discussing what we, what we would do, what companies did, and just learning, learning just more and more just about ethics as a whole. And so what will you take back to PC when you go back and, and in your career as you, when you graduate? Um, just kind of more of the principles that my mom, my family taught me is just kind of just embarking on just doing the right thing. Um, cause you can see, like, we just went over a case where, where a guy's social media um, affected him 20 years later. So kind of just knowing what you do now will affect your future. And, and that's the big thing about this is just taking control of now, being good now, and then, and, and for your future, it'll be good. Clemson University, Zion Kaawai is with us. Wow, fascinating. Are you learning a lot? I think I am, yeah. And I'm, I'm also really, really enjoying whatever's going on here. This is the first time uh, Clemson was invited. So. And, and the, the whole process is you have a case study and then you get different opinions. And, and so what are you hoping to achieve in, when you go back to Clemson, take back with you? So I'm already, uh, there's an ethics organization at Clemson University called Change. I'm the president right now. So I plan to, whatever discussions we're having is add to my personal experiences uh, serving on this ethics board back at Clemson University. Also bring back the way that we we're discussing things, because we're discussing things a certain way, you know, and everyone is discussing the ethics a certain way. So bouncing back off of each other, that's the kind of stuff I want to bring back to Clemson University. And do you think this is something really every college student should participate in? I think every college student should have some kind of conversation with themselves and with other people about ethics. That's what my organization seeks to do at Clemson University anyway. So to see other college students doing this and to be able to interact with them is honestly an awesome experience. Very good, thank you so much. Coming up after the break, we'll learn more about the Latin Music Festival. Don't go away.